it's just what bothers me the most is there's others out there going going down that fucking rabbit hole man when if one just realizes how simple it really is they got a lot better things to do than you know go over this stuff like you know i'm playing it just give people an example i've been there and uh but if you take all it said and realize it takes two in that courtroom two people to have a meeting of the minds hear that other than that you're just a sucker man you're going in there nobody in there got a controversy with you yet you're paying fines or doing this or that or going to jail and you never had a meeting of the minds with anybody right and you're accepting the offer from nobody just feeding the beast i mean it's so simple that's i think that's what really irks me about these people i've talked with and they go out there putting this shit out for the brothers and sisters how's that helping them you know what i mean i like well i like that background info uh because at once i ran across you i quit studying and i and uh, but i do like the background info and i do see the points that you're talking about well uh you know what like everything he's presenting what comes to mind is well what's your evidence he's gonna say he's gonna present some hearsay and then like well okay well exactly exactly all sounds good man i i, I bought it for a while you know i owned it i was using it and yeah. uh, by the bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And one day when I re realized who's the fucking problem here. Wow. I go into that courtroom making claims and then I get pissed because I agree to what the offer is. Who is the fucking idiot here? I mean, it's really that simple, you know? I got some more ham to play or whatever, but the gist of it is, uh, yeah, it's background, man. I've, I've been there. My purpose, I believe, is I got a passion for people to wake up. Mm. Mm. And some people may not like the way I do it, but the point of the matter is, if you stayed on point, whether you like the way I do it or not, it's fucking irrelevant. You know what I mean? Get over it, assholes. Fucking you know <laughs> what can i say <laughs> i was thinking that if i was gonna ever sign anything then i'll just you know wait around for who's claiming it's a signature or yeah. I, 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 or uh spidey, spidey 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 come on spidey get, get background noise Try to get, spidey get what get deprogrammed here I believe if anybody wants ink on paper, yeah, I'll put it on there. Until then, it's only a signature if you claim it is. And I hear where you were going with that. If anybody asks, is this your signature? Yeah. Uh, I'd say, well, what do you mean by that? Yeah. You know? Or, or I was thinking, like, uh, hey, if you want me to sign this paper, like, how would I understand what, what's on the paper until I meet whoever uh, wrote it, you know? Spider-Man, Spider-Man, keep it simple. Would it help if I put some ink on this paper? I find that's the quickest way. I used to do that with the cops. I, I did it with them a number of times. <laughs> you go sign here. You mean, would it help if I put some ink on that paper? And they go, yeah. And I just put ink on it. I never claimed it was a signature. Yeah, I call that the slide by the slide yeah. by when, like, what's your name? I say, well, I believe the name is blah blah blah. What's what's your date of birth? Well, the date of birth is blah blah. blah. If I, but if you if I say I believe the date of birth is blah blah blah, it's sometimes that's not good enough of a slide by. Yeah, the date of birth I've been known to use or fine. Like a, a cop asked me, so-called cop asked me if I had a license. I said, well, I believe I, I believe I do. 
He says, you believe you have a license? I know if I have one or not. And I said, well, at the, DM, at, the, at the DMV, they told me I did. So what's the guy to believe? And, he, and then he walked back to his car. I thought he was going to do some shit, but he drove off. <laughs> they need a claim. Could it be? And what you believe is not a claim. It's what you believe. Well, in a sense, it's a claim, but it's a claim that only you can prove. It's protected under the maxim of a, you're allowed to believe whatever you want to believe or something like that, right? I forget the maxims now. It's been so long since I looked through them. But, uh, I just paraphrase them anyway. Right? Mm -hmm. But who's to argue with somebody's belief? Something along those lines, you know? So. Yeah. But if you claim it's yours, your birthday, well, you just bought a claim before the court. Simple as that. I've been told, yeah, I went round and round with him one night, uh, wanted a birthday. And, uh, well, I've been told it's, uh, all right, what do you mean? You know, what's your birthday? I don't want to own such a thing. Uh, you know, what day were you born? You mean, oh, you mean what my mother told me? Right. You know, that's well, here, and, and I tell them, you know. The point of the matter is, you don't make any claims. All you can do is relay what you've been told or what you believe. And what you, what it seems like you've seen, heard, touched, or felt, or so, I, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And the thing of it is, with the driver's license, yeah, I'm at. I, well, not admit it's a fact to me. I I believe I got use of one, but I fail to recall ever having a meeting of the minds with anyone stating how I'm obligated to anything that has to do with that driver's license. And until I meet the one claiming such a thing, I mean, what the fuck do I care? Now you got these representatives out there. I think they're working for somebody that has a lit legitimate claim over one using that license but in reality until they show up could it be it's all just a fucking illusion and if you stay on point they realize that yeah and they'll do the right thing i like what you said about the name like yeah well that's the name i was told is mine so allegedly instead of like you know, playing the so-called name game and stuff, just head it off with, well, that's what I was told. So, you know, if, if you want me to present hearsay evidence or, you know. You know I, like I, a birthday, man. How the hell do you know, man? The day I was born, I, right, I didn't even I was, know what time meant. Could it be? I was, I didn't know what a date was, a calendar. What the fuck was that? When you was just born, did you have a clue? I mean, you looking for me to perjure myself, claim I knew something? Like I say, could it be true? You need not prepare. I look at it as you need not prepare until you meet the claimant. And the same goes for why you're worrying. Has you met anybody making the claim yet? Anybody threatening evidence? They got firsthand testimony against you yet? Until then, man, what's there to worry about? What's there to be afraid of? Huh? Fair, false evidence appearing real, huh? Could it be? Does one get over the false evidence appearing real in one's life, Batman? The more you focus on what's happening around you, I mean, mm -hmm. I realized back in the day, I don't have anxiety like I used to. When I started realizing, and I've been to court, I used to get anxiety over going to court and stuff, have a hard time sleeping, especially yeah. the time I was looking at six years in prison. But I never went six years in prison. It never fucking happened. You know what I mean? I was worried about something that never fucking happened. And it's dawned on me when I realized, wow, if I just stayed on point, I wouldn't even paid them fines. You know what I mean? I'm the one who created the fear. I'm the one who made the claim. I'm the one who accepted the offer. 
when I realize I'm the one that can deal with that, the fear starts going away more and more and more. You know what I mean? Sure, every now and then I cop, I might get a little old, that old feeling. But I think about it, what the fuck? And it goes away real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, you know, you've been programmed to be fearful. Get over it. I guess aware, awareness of the moment and observation is the yeah. is the uh, antidote to that. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, let's. It's assuming you're assuming something bad's going to happen. You know, it's the less you assume, enjoy the moment. The less the fear goes away. That makes sense. Yes, it does. Oh, Huck dropped off. But yeah, it's it's a change. Well, it's a change. I say it's more uh, like getting back to the original programming. You know what I mean? Most little children, man, unless they got mean old moms and dads, are pretty peaceful. You know? Yeah. And, and until they start getting programmed by those around them. The moms and dads of the world, the school teachers, you know, programming, doctrination. And if you start believing all that crap, well, that's then you start assuming. And then the next thing you know, you're fearful yeah. of an illusion. You, you see, yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Stay on point, boys and girls. It's all good. The intention. I believe the main point is the intention to do what's the best for everyone. And uh, focus on that. And uh, life just keeps getting better. For me, anyway. Thank you. Some people may not see the way I do things as that. But yes, me, it's a personal problem. <laughs> anyway. <laughs>